you can change if you want. If we change this curve, we are getting this kind of effect, or maybe this one, we can have different chains, but we can restore this graph if we don't save the settings, so we don't save the settings, and just hit over the glow airbrush again, and okay, so nothing happens, we have the the glow airbrush working right again. Most of the effects of the lighting effects are working in the same way. Okay, so as we don't have for now the blending modes like add or subtractive or multiply or dodge or overlay, we are we have to do. Uh, the things this way. And the beam light is maybe they are basically not really the same because this is good for creating uh, this kind of uh, robot or highlights on a bicycle or engines. That is for the effects. And now we are cover the effects but the uh, nature effects and they are very interesting and <laughs> obviously we're going to select a green tone and we have this for example the tree and the tree is spreading just uh, an amount of depths to create the sensation of the foliage the foliage sensation. It is not real accurate but pretty fast. So we can create good effects with this. But maybe you will like more the next one. This is a tree that we are creating in real time. And we are selecting a middle green. And we first draw the the base of the of the tree as we apply pressure we are increasing the lightness so you can see here we are increasing the the lightness and there is also a lot of, of mapping qualities that we can use here so Maybe uh, we can start to work from this. This is the base of the tree, and we now can uh, decrease the size to make just uh, the details. Uh, this is a way, or increase the color a bit to create some parts that has more light. On the darker ones, okay. So if the light is coming from here, it's coming from here, you have something like this. You can also use uh, this experimentation press that I'm working on. And let's see how it's blended, maybe from other effects. Now we can erase from this part, of this part of the trees and also we can create grass and grass it's is very interesting we have uh, three types of grass it is slightly different um, for example I use the most the uh, grass 3 because it's with a low pressure darker, but it's the same way as the 3 2. That means that we are uh, applying low values to create shadow parts, and 
we apply a high pressure to create this kind of lighter parts and combining them we can make a good grass fill in seconds or maybe here under the clouds just by adding and then just uh, with the smooch you can start to blend in and create this kind of atmospherical effect and we can also using the glow brush Okay, so that is uh, for the special effects. This is very basic. We can create a lot of things, a lot of different effects. It is only based on the experimentation and tweaking these fa these uh, old parameters because uh, these old brushes are made just uh, making some variations and understanding how the curves works how the base value works um, just with imagination because you have the the power to create your own brushes and make them available if you want to share with the community so hope you enjoy this um, series of uh, tutorials or explanations about uh, my paint and I hope you find them useful so see you at the forums and thanks for watching take care